Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, stand to your feet and put your hands together because it's time to play Mama or Llama. I'm your host, El Paqua. And if this is your first time playing, don't worry. The rules are super simple. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, mama knows best. Well, that's certainly true in this game. I'm going to read a statement about a famous Bible character. You have to decide if that statement is true or false. All true statements are said by a mama who knows her Bible. All false statements, though, are said by a llama because llamas can't read. So, if you know a statement is true, then shout out mama as loud as you can. But if the statement is false, shout out llama as loud as you can. Easy enough, right? Then let's get started with the first round of mama or llama. Alex and Eva were the first two people God created in the book of Genesis. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Okay, time is up! It looks like this first statement was made by a llama. Adam and Eve were the first two people God created, not Alex and Eva. Let's move on to round two. Noah said that of all the animals on the ark, llamas were his favorite. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Time is up. Oh, I think it's safe to say this statement definitely came from a llama. Now it's time for round three. Abraham and his wife Sarah had a son named Isaac. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Time is up. It seems that this statement was made by a mama because it is completely true. Let's move on to round four. Moses' mom hid him in the Nile River to protect him from Pharaoh. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? That's it! Time is up! Ooh, it looks like this statement was also made by a mama because it is absolutely true. Now it's time for round five! Ruth and Boaz were King David's parents. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Time is up! It appears this statement came from a llama because Ruth and Boaz were actually King David's great-grandparents. Round six, here we come! Mary is the mother of Jesus. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Time is up! Oh, this statement about a mama definitely came from a mama because it is totally true. Let's move on to round seven, our final round. Jesus rose from the tomb on the third day. Is this what a mama or a llama would say? Time is up! This statement also came from a mama because it is 100% true. If you got all seven questions correct, congratulations! Thank you all so much for playing. And remember, be kind to your mamas and your llamas.